Welcome everybody to today's session. Today's session is gonna be geared toward parents of teenagers and really all kids, but specifically teenagers and how to have a better relationship and connection with them. The final skills and tools I wanna talk about actually come from teenagers themselves. Whether I've asked my own teenage clients on what parents can do to connect with their teens or a list that I got from my kids that I had them go to their school in one of their classrooms, ask their class, what can parents do to connect with their teens? And when you ask teens questions like this, you get some amazing responses. And I really was impressed by the responses that I got from my own clients and from kids I've never even met and don't know from my kids' math class. So I wanna take a moment and I wanna read some of these responses and then comment on them because I think these kids really nailed it. All right, let's take a look at these. The first one I'll read is somebody said, be there at the right moment. Give us space and time until we want to talk. I think this is really important. Teens aren't gonna wanna talk when we wanna talk to them. And when we do, and we ask them how their day is after school or whatever, how school went, what do they always give us? One word answers, fine, good, okay, whatever. And then we press and we ask a ton of questions and that just annoys them. We kinda have to be on their schedule. It's just a reality. And sometimes that's at midnight, it's at one o'clock in the morning, or it's when we are wanna watch a show. I think we have to be able to be perceptive enough to know when we have to turn the TV off, put our phone down, wake up, whatever, and talk to them. Now I'm not saying we do this all the time because they could definitely take advantage and manipulate us. But when they need, and there's a serious moment and they wanna talk about something, we may have to sacrifice some time, some sleep, some activities to be there for them. Another one said, get to know my friends and don't judge them. This is huge. A teen's friend group is again, almost more important than us as family at times. When parents judge teen's friends and criticize them or belittle them or whatever, then that's gonna disconnect us. That's gonna really affect our relationship with them. Now again, this can be difficult because maybe they're hanging around kids that aren't making the best choices or influencing them poorly. And so there might be a time and a place to share our concerns, but I believe we have to do so diplomatically and be able to talk with them and discuss our concerns, not just go right to judgment and criticism. So be careful of that and also get to know their friends. A lot of teens made a comment like this, whether my clients or these kids in this class is they want us to be interested in their friends and get to know them, but with balance not be overbearing and not you know, be an interrogator, but be interested genuinely in their friends and what they're doing. A kid said, talk to us more and have lots of meaningful convos or conversations. Wow, again, kids want to talk to us. That's the big surprise. Parents think kids don't wanna to talk to us and have a relationship with us. I'm here to tell you that that is wrong. Kids want to have a relationship with their parents. Yes, it's a different kind of relationship when they were a school age kid, but it's really important to know that they want that and we have to make time to talk to them, not to lecture them, not to tell them what to think and believe, but to hear them out and to listen to them. That's a big key. Listen to our teens, not always want to share our great advice and all the things that we've learned uh, from our growing up. They need to learn some things on their own and they need to be able to have their own opinions, but they want to be able to talk about it and not be criticized and judged themselves either. Here's another one. Parents can connect more with their teenage kids by understanding what they are saying and not being awkward around friends. That says a lot. Again, understanding, listening, we just talked about that. And now not being awkward around friends is a different topic. But don't embarrass them. 
Don't try to be too funny. Don't be weird. Just get to know their friends and be around them and don't be awkward. I couldn't say it any better. One kid simply wrote down, daddy and mommy dates. Love it. Here's a big one. Kids need one-on-one -on -one time. Now let's go back to love language. Quality time is a love language, but I think every kid needs one-on-one -on -one quality time with both mom and dad. I know that may be difficult. You may have several kids. You may be busy with work, but I'm telling you, kids want to have one-on-one -on -one time with their parents. So please make that a practice. If you haven't, start doing it. Even if they're teens, even if they're in their late teens. I asked a 16 year old client once if she would like to have a daddy daughter date with her dad and her eyes lit up and she was, I would love that. Kids want to feel special. They want to have that one on one time. If there is one thing in this whole video that you can do differently to connect more with your teens, it's this have and make one-on-one -on -one time with your kids. Another one, I think that parents should try to be involved in their lives and try out their interests. This can be tied to one-on-one -on -one time and a lot of other areas, but be genuinely interested in what your kids are interested in. Even if it's not what you are naturally interested in, you're interested in it because it's their interest. It doesn't mean you love it and you like it as much as they do, but you're interested, whether it's their sport, it's their music, and I know music can be a hard one, but it doesn't mean you have to like it, but you don't have to criticize it, and I know I fail at this one. The music of today's teen, by and large, is hip hop and rap. I'm not a hip hop and rap kind of guy, and sometimes I can go overboard and, and expressing that to my teens, and I really made a commitment recently to really calm that down and give them the opportunity to like what they want to like. And that's really important. Again, whether it's hobbies and interests, music, sports, whatever. Show an interest in what they have an interest in. Do things with them that they like to do, not always what you want to do. Family dinner. Here's a huge one. This is big. A lot of research can back this up. Take time to have dinner with your kids. They want it. We had an experience with had some friends over of our daughters and we had dinner together and it kind of blew their friends away. They're like, wow, you guys have dinner together on a regular basis? This is awesome. And they really enjoyed it. They liked having the conversation with us. Take time to sit down and have dinner together. Yeah, you may not be able to every night with your schedules and your kids' schedules, but do it as much as you often can, weekly at minimum. Have dinner as a family. If you do, you'll connect more with your teens. Okay, so there's a lot to think about. So let's recap. Know your kid's personality and adjust your parenting to their needs and their personality. Two, know their love language and speak their love language. Three, do some of the things that these kids asked parents to do. Spend one-on-one -on -one time with them on a regular basis. Show genuine interest in their activities, in their interest, in their friends. Listen to them. Talk to them about meaningful subjects. Get their input without lecturing and judging because it's different than yours. If you do these things, I promise you will have a better relationship with your teen and in turn their behavior will be what you want it to be the vast majority of the time. Will they be perfect? No, they won't be perfect. They're teenagers and we're all not perfect, but it will be better. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the future videos that come out. Please give it a thumbs up and comment on what was helpful to you. And if you have any other ideas and what's worked for you in connecting with your teen, I would love to know. And also share it with someone else that may be a parent or somebody who works with teens 
so that they can also get this information and start to improve their relationship with the teen in their life. Until next time, make it a great day and make it a great week.